Forschow präsentiert Ihnen jetzt Ronkos Showtime Messerset. Welcome to Showtime's Great Night Giveaway Show. I'm Steve Bryant. I'm your show host today for a very special program. Today you're going to meet a man that some people call the Viceroy of Value, the Count of all things culinary. Most people call him the King of the Kitchen. Who is this great American inventor? Mike Let's give him a big round of applause. He's here today. America's inventor, and I'm proud to call him my friend. I shake your hand, but I've loaded say, down. Look at these. These what? are knives that I have, and I have a drawer like this at home. We all have drawers like this at home, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Let me take these knives and put them where they belong, okay? All right. Right over here. Okay? <laughs> That's that. Okay? Problem solved. So, Ron, what really great innovative product have you brought us today? Before we get into the knife and why it's such a great value, I want to introduce to you my daughter, Shannon, my other daughter, Lauren, and over here, my cousin, Arnold, who wants to show you my fabulous Showtime knife. How many of you have a knife that looks something like this? Oh, it was a good knife when you first got it. Maybe six months later, it got dull. You ever try to cut a tomato with one of these babies? Oh, boy, you poke it, you stab it, you jab it, you give it to... Oh, my goodness gracious, the poor tomato has a hemorrhage. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. My cousin Ron has come up with mo one of the most un believable knives that I've ever laid my hands on. And one of the things that makes this so important is how it's made and what it's made of. First of all, let me describe this knife. It's called the Showtime knife. It is made out of fine surgical steel. It is a, a full tang. In other words, the tang means the blade goes from here to the opposite end. It's one solid piece of steel. Have you ever seen a knife this sharp in your whole life? Let me tell you something. When it comes to slicing a tomato, you don't have to slice the tomato. The way the knife alone slices it. You don't slice the tomato. You caress it. Look at this. With this knife, one tomato will last you a week. You ever go into... Don't laugh. You go into a fast food restaurant, they've been using our knife and the same tomato for six weeks. Here, pick up the bun. Look underneath. Does that look familiar? That's why you're going hungry and you come out starved. Look, you use this knife, you save yourself money. You go into the discount stores, buy loaves of meat, and you'll never have dried up meat in the refrigerator. You only slice off what you need, when you need it. I don't care whether it's ham, roast beef, lamb, turkey. This knife is like a hot knife going right through butter. It has a fork on the end, so you pick up the meat, dip it into the gravy. Remember, that's a grapefruit. Look at this. Not a seed, not a drop of juice comes out because this is razor sharp. And the best part of it is, it's guaranteed to stay that way forever. Now, I've proved to you how sharp the knife is, haven't I? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to prove to you how sharp the knife stays. This is solid frozen food over here. Look at this. You go through frozen food like it wasn't even there. But here... We used to take and cut up a can to show you. They, they, they used to make these cans out of steel. Right now, they're making them out of aluminum. So I had to find something a little bit harder than aluminum. I had to find something really hard to cut. So I'm going to take this solid steel hammer, and I'm going to cut this hammer up. You can cut through ham bones, chicken bones, frozen foods, this joint turkey. This is an all-purpose knife, and I don't care how, and I'm not doing this to show you this is a hacksaw. You want to buy a hacksaw, you can buy them every day of the week. You want a knife that'll never get dull, never wear out, I want you to take a look at this. Now, can you all see the filings that came off of that hammer? Had to come somewhere, right? If it came from my knife, I'm in trouble. If it came from the hammer and it's still sharp, I've got one heck of a knife. Wouldn't you say so? Huh? Yeah. Let's find out if the knife is still sharp, okay? Would you say, ladies and gentlemen, that this knife is still sharp? Today, tonight, tomorrow, next week, next year, for the rest of your life, you never, ever have to sharpen this knife. Hey, Cousin Arnold, my dad wants everyone to have one of the sportsman's knives. Oh, this is my favorite. You guys are going to love this knife. You guys, anybody go hunting or fishing? Huh? Yeah. Well, this is the sportsman's knife. Look at the flexibility of that blade. This knife goes through bones and all when you're doing your flaying of the fish. Here, let me show you something right now. You put that underneath between the flesh and the skin, and you just press. That fish will jump right out of his underwear, swim around naked, die of pneumonia before he knows what hit him. 
This knife is so sharp, I want you to see this, you can actually take and fillet the fillet. Got a nice piece of meat over here. Look at this. First of all, if you want to butterfly it, this is like a razor blade right on a stick. Take a look at this. Then, you take your cheese and your ham, you insert it in the middle like that, you serve that, put that into the oven. In fact, put that into the rotisserie, you know? You're going to love this knife. This knife alone sells for $40. You won't spend a penny for this. You get both of these knives for the same price. I know, but my dad wants everyone to have a bread and bagel knife. Oh, you can't appreciate what this knife does until I show you something. We all have bread knives. We all have... You can go out and spend $75 for a knife that does nothing but bread. How many of you still do this, though? You take good old faithful and you start to make these little... Uh, uh, <laughs> try, to put, try to put that into the toaster. Better yet, try getting it out, okay? <laughs> Let me show you something incredible. Here's a knife that is so sharp. Let me just even this off. The weight of the knife alone does the cutting. How's this for cutting bread? Would you like that, huh? Let me show you something. You've got relatives that won't move. You starve them to death. You make a sandwich like this, I guarantee you they'll pack their bags and get out and never come back to your house again. <laughs> and use this on a bagel. How's that for cutting a bagel thin, huh? Pretty good? Okay. Not bad. Hey, cousin, my, you, dad, you gotta my be dad wants to give everyone the chop and serve knife also. This goes in the package That's also? Right. Wow. Let me show you this one over here. This is, this is fabulous. Look, the next time you have to chop up some onions, you take this knife, our chopper, and you chop up your onions like you see over here. Turn it around this way. You chop onions so fast that you don't have any time for tears. The only tears you'll set are tears of joy that you have a thing like this around your house. This is the way you do all your fine work. You want to chop up parsley. You want to do basil. You want to do mint. And, and we call it a chop and serve for this reason. You notice the width of that blade? It's made that way. So once you chop the food up, Drop it right into the frying pan. This alone sells for $40, and Ron says to put it in. Oh, you got to be kidding. Here you go. Oh, everybody knows what this is just by the length of it. You ever go to a party or a banquet? They have a, um, a carving station, and there's a guy with a knife that cost $150 that he does nothing with that knife but carve the meat. Let me show you something. We don't expect you to hold your hand up there like that. So Ron is going to give you a fork that'll hold the turkey like that. And I'll tell you something, when you start to carve turkey with this, oh my goodness, it melts right off of the bone. Look at this. And you know what I like about it? I like my turkey cut nice and thin. Take a look at this. Is that a job, huh? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of the best cutlery you'll ever get your hands on. How does that sound, huh?